we're going to look at finding the probability of drawing two cards out of a standard deck without replacement. So the very first example that I want to do is the probability of getting two face cards. Okay, so again, this is without replacement, which means we're going to draw a card and not put it back in the deck. Well, first we need to know a little bit about the deck of cards. There are a total of 52 cards in the deck. So n is equal to 52, that's my total. My face cards are over here. So I've got one, two, three, four down, one, two, three across. So my face cards, there are 12 total. So I think about this probability as drawing a face card and a face card. So I've got two events and I'm going to multiply their probabilities. So when I do the first probability of a face card times probability of a face card, when I go and draw that first face card, all 12 of them are there out of the 52. So that's going to be 12 out of 52. When I go back to draw the second card, I pretend like one of these cards is gone, which means that I have now only 11 face cards left when I go back to draw the second one and all 52 of them um, are no longer there. There's 51 instead left. So I assume to get this theoretical probability that the first card that I draw is a face card. So I drew one out of the 12. Now I've got just 11 left, 11 face cards out of 51 cards left. I'm just going to grab my calculator here and multiply these two together. So I'm going to do 12 divided by 52 times 11 over 51. And you can see there's a really nice pattern here too. Now, if I wanted the decimal version, I could just go ahead and hit enter. I get the decimal um, 4.97, about 5% chance, but I really wanted this as a reduced fraction. So I just left what was there and then I go ahead and hit fraction and math menu to fraction, which gives me answer to fraction. And I get that um, 11 over 221. I could also do it this way. So if I go up and choose that again, if I know I want a reduced fraction from the very start, I type this in, I go to math, choose that first convert to fraction, hit enter, and it gives me the 11 over 221. So my probability about 5%, but that's going to be 11 over 221. Okay, let's do a second example. Number two, let's do the probability of drawing two hearts. Now, this is going to be the probability of drawing a heart and a heart. So I've got two events. I'm again doing this without replacement. So as I draw these two hearts, I'm going to put my event separate, drawing the first heart and then drawing the second heart. Let me erase what I had drawn over here in terms of those face cards, and then we'll go ahead and do this for the hearts. So the hearts is one fourth of the deck. It's one of my suits. So when I take a look at the hearts, it's going to be all of these right here. So there are 13 of these hearts. So when I do the first heart, they're all 13 there and all 52 cards are there. Now I assume because it's a theoretical probability that I do choose a heart the first time. So I'm just going to get rid of one of them. Does it matter which one? Which means that I have 12 hearts left, 51 cards left. So 12 left out of the 51. I can go ahead and put this right into my calculator and I'm going to do 13 out of 52 times 12. Again, there's that nice pattern, 12 out of 51. And I know I want a reduced fraction, so I'm just going to do math, convert to fraction. And I get 1 out of 17. So this is going to equal 1 out of 17. Okay, let's do one more example. This time let's draw three cards. So let's do the probability of drawing three, um, let's say that we're going to draw three aces. So this is going to be the probability of an ace and an ace and an ace. Okay, so again, I'm going to go back. Let me get rid of the information I had here for the hearts, and we're going to do this again for the aces. 
There are four aces, one in each suit. So I know that the total aces that I have is equal to four to start. So when I do my probabilities, I draw that first ace. All four of them are there out of the 52. I assume that I do choose one of them for the theoretical probability. I go in to choose my second card. There are now three aces left, 51 cards left. Again, I assume I draw an ace for the theoretical probability to work out. And I've got two left out of the 50. Now, if you're good at permutations, you'll notice that this is also a permutation. You could do it that way. But honestly, I could just put this right into my calculator as is and calculate this. So you could do this for as many cards now as you needed to. So I'm going to go 4 out of 52 times. And I just follow that pattern. 3 out of 51 times and I'm down to two left and 51 cards left or sorry 50 cards left I had 51 before 50 cards left but I'm counting down four three two in my numerators 52 51 50 in my denominators math convert to fraction and I get my nice reduced fraction really really slim chance there one out of 5552 so one out of 5552 if you have other probabilities that you would like to see um, if you've got a question go ahead and put it down in the comments otherwise go ahead and subscribe and take a look at my other videos